and we're back on Optimal Play. We are continuing through the Arkham Horror, the card game Night of the Zealot campaign. We're up to scenario two, the Midnight Masks. I'm still here with Scott. Hello. Playing Roland. And Anne. Hello. Playing Daisy. And I will be playing the role of Wendy. And we have a little bit of setup for the scenario to read. In the wake of the disaster at your home, Lita Chandler, the red-haired woman from your parlor, lays out a tale that, even in the light of what you've just witnessed, strains the limits of your belief. <laughs> the creatures in your home, she claims, are called ghouls, cruel beings who plague the crypts, caverns, and tunnels beneath the city of Arkham. These creatures feed on the corpses of humans, and they are served by a dark cult within Arkham whose members have inexplicably come to worship the ancient master of the ghouls. The cult has been killing innocent people and feeding them to the ghouls, satiating a monstrous hunger. A dark balance was maintained, until now. Recently, Lita continues, one of their lairs, where the corpses were stored, was destroyed. Since then, the ghouls have been more active than usual. I have tracked their movements and tried my best to stop them from running amok throughout the city, but I think there's something worse going on. The cult has been planning something darker and more ominous than anything I have yet observed. Indications are that this plan shall come to fruition tonight, shortly after midnight. Beyond that, I cannot fathom what to expect. Many of the cultists, Lita continues, will seem like everyday people, despite their foul intentions. Whenever the cult meets, its members don masks shaped like the skulls of various animals to protect their identities from one another. These masks are our mark, symbols of death and decay. We must unmask the cultists to expose and derail their plans. We have but a few hours. The more cultists we find before midnight, the better. So, I actually missed one step of setup. Um, Looking through here, based on the number of players in the game, we spawn some enemies at the start. Oh. So we actually start with an acolyte in the south side, as we're exploring Arkham here, and an acolyte in downtown. They're not going to hunt or anything, but they each get a doom on them. The agenda does count them. So right now we have two out of six towards advancing this agenda. But if we take them out... If we kill them, then the doom comes off the okay. table. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. The other thing is, we, I put our starting position at the house. Unfortunately, you let Lita burn down your house. <laughs> so actually, it comes off the table. <laughs> and we start in Rivertown. <laughs> <laughs> there is no house to visit. Well, I'm still traumatized by it, so I'm <laughs> starting with a horror, you unfortunately. You are traumatized from the ordeal. <laughs> Alright, and the agenda is Predator or Prey. Lita seems convinced of a conspiracy within the city of Arkham. She believes that a secret cult that serves the ghouls live in the crypts beneath the city, and that several of the cult's prominent members are scattered throughout Arkham. As you begin searching for them, you can't shake the feeling that you too are being hunted. It has an action on it, meaning when there's an action printed on the actor agenda, you, it's just an option to do any time, no matter where you are. Okay. Uh, that action says, resign. You don't want to risk taking too long, so you head to safety with the information you've gathered. What does that mean? Um, so, resign, that means you are removing yourself from the game permanently, from that okay. scenario. The, I actually have played this one before, obviously. I'm not, I don't find that the messaging is, that, um, is as clear as it could be, but it is better for us all to resign than to get to the end of this agenda deck. We don't want time to actually run out. We want to leave with time left. That's okay. kind of the structure of this scenario. And the act is uncovering the conspiracy. You have one night to find the members of this cult and unveil their plan. The more members of the cult you can find and interrogate before midnight, the better. As an action, the investigator spends two clues per investigator as a group. So six clues. Draw the top card of the cultist deck. We have this little deck here that are the cultists uh, hiding around Arkham. So we'll get to find one and put it into play each time we as a group spend six clues. And then our objective is to find as many cultist enemies, or as many unique cultist enemies as you can and add them to the victory display. If there are six unique cultist enemies in the victory display, advance. So, the, and also, there are five cultists in this deck, so there's one more somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It only counts unique cultists, so even though these acolytes say cultist on them, they have to be unique, which, uh, unique characters you can tell because they have a little dot before their name, and it's like, it's a proper noun. Okay. It's like Patricia some, someone, <laughs> not just acolyte. Okay. Um, yeah, so our goal actually, it's not likely that we're going to complete it. It's to get as many of these six cultists as possible and then resign. 
as opposed out. as opposed to like complete the thing whatever it takes. Yeah. So we'll go into like right before we're about to. Pretty die. much, yeah. And there are two cards in the deck, so and then so you it will, get out and yeah, and and the the more we get, the better, and that will play out in the third campaign depends oh. or the third scenario of the campaign depends on how well we did. Okay. Uh, would you read us Rivertown and then flip that since that's where we all start? Okay. Rivertown, Arkham Central. The banks of the Miskatonic River are lined with docks, warehouses, and small shops in a district aptly named Rivertown. So, flipping it. Um, there is something unsettling about the water of the Miskatonic River tonight. It ripples and bubbles as though something is moving beneath the surface. And it has one shroud. And one times... So three? Three clues, that's right. Three clues. And that's where we all start. Great. And with all that story out of the way, it's thrown over to us. What do we want to do? So our goal is to get clues so that we can find the whereabouts of these cultists and interrogate them. Do we need to pick an investigator again? Oh, thank you. We do need a lead investigator. <laughs> yes. who, who wants to take the lead this time? So I was going to say, because you're the street urchin, <laughs> you should take the lead on the mean streets of Arkham. I can't argue with that. <laughs> So, I will take the lead. I also think you might also, need some... Um, I'm still traumatized from my house. So. I'll also take some resources, thank you. <laughs> I'm not used to having resources. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I'm used to being a boss. Right? <laughs> okay, well I'm the lead. That doesn't mean I have to go first, but I have a pretty simple turn of playing some stuff. So cool. I'll go ahead and go first. I'm going to just spend most of my resources. I'm actually, first action, I will take a resource. Putting me up six. I will spend two of them to play a lantern. It lets me investigate, giving my location minus one shroud. It's kind of like the flashlight, but half as good. Okay. But no limit to how many times I can use it. Nice. And I'll spend three on my friend Peter Sylvester, the big man on campus. He gives me plus one agility, and I can put damage and horror on him like any ally, but yes. every turn he heals one horror, so I can keep putting horror on him, and he, oh, just, wow. he just powers through it. He, awesome. doesn't, he doesn't use his head much. <laughs> Why did you take one um, at the beginning? I didn't really have a third thing I wanted to do. Oh, got it. Yeah. Got it. Um, but, but, I have more, but I have more, yeah. But I have more cards in my hand that I would like to be able to pay for, so I was just thinking, got it. thinking ahead. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, that does it for Wendy. Flip her over. Who would like to go next? Um, I can go. So I'm going to spend two resources and actually get one of the cards that I upgraded after the last campaign. This is the Elder Sign Amulet. It says, this has been in my family for generations. Take care of it, and it will take care of you. So it comes with, it takes four, it can take up to four horror, plus it gets a willpower and a wild. Well, those are like if you discarded it into a yeah. skill, but so. uh, yeah, since you are, have four sanity left at the start of the game, <laughs> I think that's a great play. So I'm gonna <laughs> boost that up. Two more. This is a fast play. Hmm. So that's out. And I What's it called? Clue. It's called Working a Hunch. Uh, play only during my turn. Discover one clue at your location. Alright, that was easy. And so we need to find two clues. We need six total clues, two per player, in order to... Okay. And not, it doesn't have to be two per player, but six total, in order to uh, determine the whereabouts of cultists. Okay. I think I'll just investigate them. Okay. It's a shroud of one. Uh, and you still, that was fast, the action that you played? Yeah. So you still have two actions left. You didn't count the resources to play it? Um, you still had to take, you still spent yeah. the resources, yeah. Well, here's a yeah. skull. Uh, Minus X, X is the highest number of doom on a cultist enemy in play. Oh, so that would be one. So one. So I yeah. think I passed that. It looks like it. Take so a clue. two. And then I have one more. Mm -hmm. um, I don't need to be the only person with clues. I'll take a resource. Okay. There you go. And okay. Daisy. I'm going to start with my upgraded magnifying glass, um, which is now cost me zero uh, to put down. It's a fast card anyway. Um, so that adds plus one for my knowledge. Awesome. I forgot to say this, by the way, but there will be a link to our upgraded decks in the video description for anyone who wants to see all the upgrades that we made. Awesome. And then I think I want to add... Um, 
debating between Holy Rosary, which adds mm. one, um, the little brain icon, the willpower, the willpower mm -hmm. or Arcane Studies, which allows me to trade in either willpower or um, investigation skills for uh, for these little Oh, to, to pump yeah, them up with resources. To pump yeah. them up. I'm going to do that one for two. The Arcane Studies. Yes. Okay. And then I will investigate for my third option. Um, I think you have two actions left. Oh, yeah, I, I do. My glass is fast. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Do you, do you want to also play your Holy Rosary? Um, which is another two. Is that is that a good... I probably. Mean, you've got three resources. I don't know what else you're holding onto them for. But okay, <laughs> let's do that. Great. Holy Rosary is great because having extra willpower helps you with the treacheries. Mm. They, they tend to test your willpower. That's good. All right, so one for searching. Okay, come great. on, no fails. Zero. All right, take that clue. Yay. Okay, we've cleared off Rivertown. we got to branch out now. Okay. And that does it for you? That does it for me. Okay. No enemies in the enemy phase, and we can do the upkeep phase, which means we'll refresh everyone and draw a card and a resource each. Help you with that. Thank you. So you can even keep some a little closer to you. Appreciate that. Awkwardly reach over there. <laughs> did you get a resource yet? I did not. Okay. Yeah, I'll just... Oh, one. Okay. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Thank you. And my card. All right. Okay, it is the top of the round, which means we put a Doom on Predator or Prey. There are now three out of six Doom on it because of the Doom on those Acolytes. And I'm the lead, so I will start the encounter draws. Oh, and it's a doozy. I drew a Hunting Night Gaunt. Night Gaunts are a uh, flying, demonic-looking monster. It says, uh, it's a Lovecraft quote on here. They had no faces at all to smile with, but only a suggestive blankness, excuse me, only a suggestive blankness where a face ought to be. Oops. Uh, it has Hunter. When attempting to evade it, double the negative modifier on the chaos token you reveal. Ooh. So it only takes one to evade, like it's easy to just get away from, except you double the negative you draw. Mm. If you draw a negative. If you draw a negative. Yeah. Yeah. If you get a plus one, it's not doubled. <laughs> Great. All right. Okay. Um, so it's me. Here you. All right. Um, I think it's the same same guy. Uh, hunt, hunting Night Gaunt. Oh, no. All right. While attempting to evade the Hunting Night Gaunt, double the negative modifier of each revealed chaos token. Oh, wow. Okay. We're, um... We're gonna die. We're gonna have to fight. Yeah, we're gonna have to solve this. We don't have any weapons or anything on the table. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully I don't draw an enemy. Crypt chill. Aww. <laughs> Test four will. If you fail, choose and discard one asset under your control. Oh no. You cannot take two damage instead. Uh, we don't really want to see you lose that elder sign amulet. That's like taking four horror. So I have to do that now, right? You do. Oh, uh, we're all the same location. Yeah, so what can I give you to help? I actually might be able to get out of this without having you guys take cards. Are you I, sure? Because I have, a, I, have a I, I, I have a great solution to this. Guts, which gives me... So then you're up by one? So Yeah, I'll be up I by... I don't want you to lose that I one. I have so unexpected courage, and I have t uh, two fight icons. Okay. Mm. So uh, I literally I'm, have a ton I can help out with here. Well, so it's not a fight, it's willpower. So but I have the, two... The unexpected courage would be, yeah, would be awesome. I don't know if I, if I want you to save that for your gaunt, though. Oh, you know what? Fine. Oh, I'm just going to. One of the cards that I added to my deck is called a Test of Will. It's fast. I play it when an investigator at my location draws a non-weakness treachery card. Cancel that card's effect. Oh. Cool. So I'm just going to cancel this entirely. The downside is that exiles it from my deck. So the experience point that I spent on this is burned now. No! Yeah. But I think it was it's worth it because I don't want to... We can start a discard pile for those. Perfect. Uh, I don't want to appreciate see, it. I don't want to see you lose four horror with the protection. <laughs> you you yeah. need it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, it's back to our turns. We have these two night gaunts on us. Okay. You are the one who can play cards without getting attacked. Do you have like a weapon you I could do? Have a weapon. Sweet. So I will spend three. Okay. And oh, it's a machete. What's the machete do? Uh, the machete gets plus one attack, plus one for this attack. If the attacked enemy is the only enemy engaged with you, this attack deals plus one. Mm, um, 
So none of them are engaged with me, so I think I only get base. So you can engage one of them for an action. Okay. So as one as an action, you could take one off of Daisy or off of Wendy. I would suggest Daisy because yeah. I can probably evade it. All right. So I'll use an action to engage with the gaunt. I thank you once again, <laughs> saving my life. <laughs> so let's see. I've got four plus one, so five versus three. Should be okay. I can still give you minus one, so I still great. Okay. okay. And I do two damage. Two damage. Two, damage. two out of four. So, uh, and I think I'm done. So if Daisy wants to come in and maybe try and kick some butt. Yeah. So <laughs> how do I how do I help out? So I don't. If you have any. I have a little shriveling. Oh, you do have a shriveling. I have two of them in my hand at the moment. Oh wow. Well, you could, so you're a little short on resources. But so I could, could use it to take You one. could take a resource, play Shriveling, and then fight. Let's let's give it a try. I like it. Why not? I'm going to take one, mm -hmm. and then play that. Mm -hmm. So I can put that down. You can and that throw, gives throw me some charges on there. Four charges on there. And so now I do this, right? And I hope right. I don't die. Uh, right, do you want to, before you draw, do mm -hmm. you want to pump it up at all? You're testing... What's your willpower right now? You have the Holy Rosary. I have the Holy Rosary, which is plus one. It's mental. Is it the the willpower? Yes. So I can. I don't have any more, so I can't. I would have been able to pump it up one more. If you more had more if resources, more. any of us, we're all the same place. Um, any of us could throw cards into this. So I have one. I have four her, willpower at the moment. Okay. I could give her guts, which will give her two. That looks like a great play. All right. So I'll give you guts. That's, that'll give you so two. That's, so I'm you up to six mm -hmm. now. Six versus three. Yep. Okay. That's pretty good. Minus one. Great. Okay. Yay. And Guts, even though you put it into her test, you're the one who draws a card from me for it being successful. Oh, nice. And so okay, great. how much uh, more is The Night Gaunt is uh, it's dead. Because Shriveling does plus one damage, right? Yep. Dead. Okay. Um, was that your three actions? One, two, that was three. my three actions. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So my thinking is I'm going to evade this and get the hell out of here. And then next turn when it re-engages someone, it can be Roland and he can hack it to death. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, that's where my head's at right now. <laughs> um, as I said, I do still have one sh shriveling, so I could give you another... So you can help him fight it. If you, or, I, I, Brandon's yeah. like, not me. Not me. I'm, I won't fight By the way, don't forget to remove a charge from that shriveling. Oh, thank you. Once. Uh -huh. Yeah, the machete is nice. That's a great weapon. It doesn't have a limited number of uses. Yeah. It just has that downside of if you have multiple enemies, it gets weaker. Yeah. So I'm going to evade it. I'm at, with my, with Peter Sylvester, I'm at five versus its one. So even with the double, I'm mm -hmm. pretty good. As long as I don't draw worse than a minus two. Or a kill immediately. Oh, well, yeah. Or, or an auto fail. But let's go with this one. It's minus three. I fail. Oh, really? no. So nothing bad happens, it's just a wasted action, which sucks. I'm going to try it again. Minus two, I'm okay. Okay. All right, I tie the minus two doubled, I tie the one. So it's evaded. So it's going to be exhausted, kind of like our cards can exhaust when you use them, it can exhaust. That means it's not going to attack this turn, and it drops off of me and just into the location. Okay. So in the enemy phase, it will get it will ready itself instead of attacking, and then it's going to immediately engage someone who's here. So it's not yeah. gone for long, but it's gone long enough for me to get the hell out. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the Miskatonic University and see what's up. Okay. This is my last action. You can count. I'm going to try. Miskatonic University is one of the most prestigious colleges in the Northeast. The university library is famous for its collection of occult books maintained by the esteemed Dr. Henry Armitage. Which, spoiler, the next, the next campaign centers around him. <laughs> <laughs> spoiler! Uh, Miskatonic University it has a shroud of four, oh, so we might want to send Daisy here eventually, mm -hmm. uh, six clues on it. It says here, as an action while you're here, you can search the top six cards of your deck for a tome or a spell card and add it to your hand. Mm. That is really where you want to be. This is where I'm going next round. You've got your spell already shriveling, but you can maybe find your tomes with that. The campus is quiet and lonely. Several of the buildings have been unlocked for students and faculty working late into the night. It also has a victory point on it, if we get all six clues off of this difficult location. So I can head there next. Makes sense for me anyway. Six clues. Okay, and I am finished. I was the last one to go, so we'll refresh these. 
It's the enemy phase, so the enemy readies, and it's because it doesn't have a prey which would decide who it engages, it's our choice. Does Roland or Daisy want it? I'll take it. <laughs> I think that's the right choice. I, I was that. like, since Roland wanted, had to beat it for me I, last I time. I wanted you to be the one to volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think that was the clear choice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it doesn't attack you because all because I had evaded it. All it does is it gets back up. Okay. And then it's the upkeep, which means draw a card, gain a resource. Here's your resource. Draw your card. What did I get? And it's the start of a new round. Predator or prey. We're at four out of six with these acolytes in play, so we really need to find our way to those mm -hmm. and, and take them down. I guess if I wanted to contribute to that, I should have gone this way. A little late now, <laughs> but I can I can work my way up there because I'm you not going to be able to investigate. At you the can university. go there now. You can go down. Oh, down to south side. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Maybe I will do that. All right. So my encounter card is oh, obscuring fog. We saw this in your house too. Yeah. It attaches to my location and gives plus oh, two shroud to no, it. Oh no, that's making really, it really a six. impossible. Um. It gets it goes away the first time that you successfully investigate that. Okay. So you just need to like get your skill really high, succeed once, and then the fog clears. I can do that if yeah. I have enough. Um, if I have enough, I can do that. I can I can make this happen. Okay. Here's your card. Thank you. All right. Haunting shadow. A shadowy figure follows you in the rain. When you look at it, your head pounds in agony and your vision blurs. I'm in peril. Revelation, you must either so, choose to spend one clue or take two damage. So peril, peril is like the first word of that text, right? Mm -hmm. Peril means that we cannot give you our input on what we think you should do. Well, I'm just going to... You have to exclusively make this decision yourself. Bend one clue okay. instead of taking two damage. Great. That's what All I'm right. Do. And then this gets discarded. Okay. Peril means I have to make the choice immediately. Yes. I and, think and I made without the right choice. Anything else. I think that's probably a good choice since you don't want to take what, damage. What does this game have against me? <laughs> Crypt chill again. No. Oh no. Test for will power. I can't bail you out of this one. It's willpower? Yeah. I, I still have my... um. I didn't use the unexpected courage last time, did I? I don't think so. I still have that. What are the tokens? This one. Elders... So, Elder sign. Okay, so plus one for each clue in your effect. There's no clue in my location. Zero is fine. You'll pass zero with zero. Zero is fine. Yeah. Very nice. Whew. Thank you for the unexpected courage. Because <laughs> <laughs> that even that elder sign wouldn't have gotten him out of this jam mm -hmm. if, he was, if he was down by one to start. Okay, that is the mythos phase, so now, now our it's turn. Now your turn to fight them. You want to hack off some night gauntlets? Yeah, let's go for it. So I get a four plus one. Do you want five? No, I think it's only three, so I think I He's testing five versus three. Jesus. This can't possibly go wrong. No, never. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll take wow. it. Wow, okay, another Elder Sign. So two damage to this. Yep. And then I'll just do it again. Zero. How oh, sweet. There it goes. Dead, Dead Night Gaunt. And then I that get went well. a clue. Uh, you would if there were any on your location. You don't just get them from the bank. It has to be at your location. <laughs> oh, after you discover one, after you feed them, you discover one clue at your location. Yeah, so there have to be some there. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's okay, That's though. Right. Killing the monster is its own reward. <laughs> you saved your friends. So the question I have is, because we had, didn't deal with this last time, if I move to a location with... With an enemy? With an enemy. It will immediately engage you. Okay. But it so doesn't it attack me right away. Right? Uh, no, it will attack you in the enemy phase. But you can't go there anyway. Also, those two are not connected. Oh, no, I was just yeah. saying, like, if you But that's what will happen. Is, yeah. so but I you will, could go here. I will move, so... Okay. Well, you can go back. You oh, yeah, you, you can go straight to south side. Can I? Mm -hmm. But moving there as your final action so that it just attacks you and you don't no, get a chance yeah, to hit my plan it might was, not be... So I have to go here... Or can I go up here? I can go. So I'll go up to the east town. Okay. So let's reveal that. Uh, east town. The east town neighborhood, situated on the northern banks of the Miskatonic River, contains lower class housing, the Arkham Police Station, home base, and popular eateries like Velma's Diner. 
Uh, let's see. So uh, I am hungry. <laughs> Can we get dinner after this? Well, right? well, well, <laughs> while you are in East Town, reduce the cost of each ally asset you play by two. Oh. Ooh. I don't. So what is that like? So if while you're in East Town, you play any allies from your hand, they cost two less. Oh, that's great. Three clues in East Town. Oh, and two shroud. That's not too bad. So then I am done. Okay. And so, oh, were you done before? Have you gone yet this round? I haven't gone. No, you're okay. you, you everyone's I fresh. I think I will go to Southside and try to fight that acolyte. Um, so you're now engaged. Yeah, so it engages me. I think I'm actually not going to fight it per se. You can leave it there. Um, read Southside. Oh, we haven't been to Southside yet. Mm. Middle class houses with gambrel roofs. Gambrel? You know gambrel, gambrel no. roofs. I don't know. Well, that's what the roofs here are made <laughs> out of. Or it's the color of the roofs. <laughs> I don't know. Roofs. I have no it's idea. I never heard that term before. <laughs> Middle class houses that have gambrel roofs crowd together between the streets of Southside. The neighborhood is known for its cultural and social landmarks, such as South Church, Ma's Boarding House, and the Historical Society. Hmm. Oh, and on the back side, we find that we are at the Historical Society. Okay. The Georgian Manor, housing the Historical Society, is well known for its private library, where local records, maps, and artifacts from Arkham's past hint at secrets better left alone. It has three clues on it, three shroud, and an action that says draw three cards with a limit of one time per game. Per character or per... Each person can do it once per game oh, okay. if you find yourself there. So you should yeah. take three cards? Well, I have the Acolyte that's going to attack me if I do first. anything but fight it. Yeah. So... You only need to be... Uh, as my second action... The three. I wish I had my Fire Axe. I don't. I'm going to use the effect on my Lantern that says, Discard Lantern, deal one damage to an enemy at your location. This has one hit point, so that's just going to kill it. Nice. Great. No, no, no need to draw a token. Takes Nothing. Away our doom. Takes the Doom off the table, so we're down to three out of six. And that leaves me with one action. I will use it to draw three cards at the Historical Society. Lovely. Love those draws. All right. I should probably move to... Here yeah. to the university. To start trying to take care of this stuff. So I didn't have to do anything when I got here, right? I can just nothing when you get there. You can spend actions while you're there to see if there are books in the top six cards of your deck. Um, it's tricky because you do have several in your deck, but if you like don't happen to have one in the top six, it's a waste. So yeah. it's up to you. I would see if you can't boost yourself to knock this out and get a clue while you're doing it. I can do that. I'll do a clue, like. Right? That's the that's how I get rid of this. Is yeah, so it currently has six shrouds, so, but as soon as you succeed once at investigating, then the, then the fog clears. So I have to have six of what to beat it? Intellect. Or intellect. you have to beat a, te a test where the difficulty is six intellect. Four, and so if I spend one resource, I get one more of these, mm -hmm. and that gives it six on six. Does anyone else? Uh, you have the magnifying glass also. Make oh, it so that's seven. Yeah. And then... Um, no one else can help you. We're not at Oh, I have Defiance, so that can be eight. Sure. So, let's do okay, that. Okay, love it. So, eight versus six. Defiance says, before you draw a token, choose one of the special tokens mm -hmm. to cancel. So, let's do... So, you can look at what they do. The skull is... X minus the highest number of doom on the... Is there doom on there? There's mm -hmm. one, so it would be... that uh, Skull would be a minus one. No, no, it's on here, though. Uh, no, on any cultist oh, that you play. Oh, okay. Place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy, and then if you fail, place the one of your clues on the location. I don't have a clue. That one's minus three, though. So probably do you that could one. could cancel that, yeah. Okay, so that one. Okay, and you can just discard that. Now draw the tablet. I did! Oh, uh, that's, that, no, that's the cultist. So that's wait, okay. you're equaled, though. Minus two, you pass, right? I still pass. You, you get six. But the rest of the effect does say, place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy, which means we're putting a doom on this accolade. Back on. So I should have chosen that one. Well, <laughs> should you have? If you had, should you, you, probably, you, would, yeah. you probably would have drawn the, to the tablet and failed. Great. All right, so this okay, is... Okay, the fogs have cleared. You got a clue in the meantime. That was a great action. And now I have to do one more. Yeah, yeah. what are you doing with your last action? Um... I have one card, <laughs> so I kind of want to draw a card. Is okay. that a dumb move? Not at all. Because I'm like, I feel very naked. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a great move. Go ahead and do this. Okay. Great. As long okay. as it's not a weakness. It's not a weakness. And you're done, and we can refresh our investigators. Great. 
There are no enemies that act, so we're at the upkeep phase. Draw one card and take one resource. Wow, I am super rich. I am a rich urchin. What it says is secrets. Okay, Spend one resource. secret. What's a secret? Secrets are, it tells you like it uses three secrets. That means you put tokens on it and those are the secrets. Okay, yeah. got it. All right, so top of the round with two on this acolyte, that means we're at head, five out head, of six. Heading that way. Yeah, and my Mythos card is Hunting Shadow, so it's Peril, I must either spend one clue or take two damage. I don't have a clue to spend, so it's a no-brainer, take two damage. That hurts. Here you go, Anne. Um, mysterious Chanting, this is a hex. Revelation, place two Doom on the nearest cultists. If there are no cultist enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard a pile of cultist enemy and draw it. So... so Bad news and good news. Bad news is this cultist has four doom on it now. Good news is the agenda doesn't advance just like in the middle of other things unless it says so. Like okay. that ancient evils card from last game specifically Said says so. Agenda. So it doesn't advance. As long as we kill this this round, somehow, <laughs> <laughs> then, <All right>. <laughs> then <laughs> the, the agenda you knew won't it. advance. Okay. Okay. I know where I'm going. Uh, but first, you're doing this. Acolyte. Oh, okay. Any empty location. Oh, so choose a location with no players or other enemies to put it. I'm going to put it near you two, that way somebody else can get to it. Would you put it at the hospital so I can kind of keep exploring as I go to deal with it? If that makes sense? The hospital's down here. Instead of going backwards. Somewhere. That way, yeah, that way I don't have to backtrack. Okay. And uh, it says when it enters play, place a doom on it, so that also has one doom. Jesus. Okay, be careful, because remember, skulls are minus X, where X is the highest doom in play. Mm -hmm. They're minus fours right now. Okay. All right, it's our turn. Yes, it is. Roland? Uh, I'll go first. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like so, this is a you, let's go here. a you job. So what happens uh, Why don't you check out the location? Oh, God, please don't let there be anything bad at the location. <laughs> All right, so now we're in downtown. The downtown area of Arkham is filled with government buildings, including City Hall. The First Bank of Arkham, Independence Square, and Arkham Asylum can also be found in this area. It is the busiest district in the city. Once per game, you can gain three resources. And below that it says, we'll call this a loan. We are at the First Bank of Arkham. All right. Okay. So after, okay. I'm just going to put this over here so I can see it. Yeah, it, it does engage you when you move there, so that's yeah, the right thing to do. Uh, before we forget, there are three clues on downtown. That's three shroud. If I can pick up these little tokens. Okay. So we have lots of clues out there. We need to start sweeping them up and spending yeah, six, I have six some, at a time. I have some really good things for getting secrets here. Lovely. Oh. All right, so he's a three. I have five. Can I boost that at all? I don't completely understand this card. I'll let you take a look at it. It's leadership. Leadership. So leadership is a skill card. It gives one wild icon, but if you put it into someone else's test, it gets another willpower and wild icon. Okay. So you can use it for yourself, but it's better if you use it for a friend is how that okay. card works. Guardians are both the, the blue the blue investigators, the guardians, they're both kind of the fighters, but they're also very supportive. They also help out other people a lot. As opposed to like me, the survivor, I'm just barely eating by myself. I don't have time to, to help you guys. And I have one fight icon if that helps at all. We have to be in the same location. You do this. have to, you be, do in have to be in the same yeah. location. So you're fighting with your machete? Yes. All right. What'd you get? Skull is minus four right now. <sighs> Should I have played Inquiring Mind then? Well, it's too late now. To you take the damage. have an action remaining, right? Yeah. Let's do it again. Okay, Inquiring Mind. Plus three. Plus three, then you have to, there have to be clues on your location in order to commit it. You're good. Oh no. <laughs> the auto fail. So that's the end. That is going to be the end of that agenda. There's another one in the deck. Okay, so okay. we still... But, uh, I mean, unless if you have any way to get up there... Um... <laughs> What's the? What's it would the... be like a move, 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 attack the, the acolyte. Um, I can try. I can give you leadership. Yeah. Okay. That's true. So How's are your you combat? Guys, your you... combat is two. Um, my combat is two, but I have 
one in my hand and I've got this shriveling down here. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, you've got a pretty reasonable chance of, especially his leadership has willpower on it. Like he's giving you plus three with wild. that. All right, yeah. so it's my turn. He's done, right? Yes. So if I go... You go this way. And I can't go there. You can't. Uh, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the T? Yep. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So the then side. I go then there. So that's two moves. So on your way through, why don't you read us and flip the north side? Oh, yes. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Location Arkham. Uh, north side is a commercial district that contains many offices and factories, as well as a train station. Arkham, spend five resources to gain two clues from the token pool. Group limit once per game. Ooh. Ooh. So if someone finds themselves rich, they can get two yeah. clues out of nowhere. It also has six clues on it. Nice. So. And three shroud. And a victory point if we manage to clear them all. Okay, that's maybe a place where we should spend some time. Yeah. So I'm going to go from there to here. To downtown. Does this okay. engage and does it her? No, it stays engaging you. Okay. But, but so. you can attack it. Just if you miss, you'll you hit, hit him. him. Yeah. Okay, I'm He's sorry. He's got nine health. He's I'm like, sorry. What's, what's gonna, so I'm going to give you my leadership okay. for your roll. So that brings me up to... Are you using your shriveling? So yes. So willpower? Okay. So that, this gives you six willpower right now. And I think your holy rosary makes it seven. Seven. And then I already have... Okay, so I'm at so seven. So so seven versus three means even if you pull out a skull that's currently minus four, you're good. That's a so good, just that's a don't good pull. I shake it up because I just, put, well, I just yeah. put in the fail on top. So we want to make sure that you don't pull the fail. Bundle the bag. <laughs> okay, no fails. No whammies. No whammies. That's oh. the cultist. What's the cultist do? Two. Um, place one doom in the nearest cultist. So that is extremely perfect because I just killed him. The doom goes on here, mm -hmm. and then the damage happens and kills him. Okay. Nice job. Ooh. The one caveat is: remember, you take horror if you draw a special token on shriveling. And I did, so I have to take a horror. So you take a horror. Here you go. Take okay. your doom back, sir. And then yeah. this goes on her. You can put it on her, or you can put it on that holy rosary. Oh, I get one. Uh, oh, you, yeah. you can put two on there. So if you oh. put a second one there, it will be destroyed. It, oh, but it destroys put, the but card. You, but you can put one there safely. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll just put one there and mm -hmm. then try never to destroy it because that card is awesome. It is. It is. Well done. Okay, so well, that was my that turn. That took like two people's entire turns <laughs> to kill this damn <laughs> asshole. Sorry, this... But it bought us several entire rounds. So it's true. Even though that took like everything we had worth it. Well, now we can have send you here yeah, instead of there, back. and it's way yeah. better for you. So that leaves me to act. I'm trying to decide whether to go to the hospital or now that there's only four out of six, it's not. Yeah, urgent. but it might it might be urgent in one turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't oh, argue how's with your that. Combat? What are you? My combat's not great, it's one. Okay, but what is this guy and, do? Um he gives me agility. agility. But evading is great, it just doesn't help get doom off the table. Yeah. So I'm looking through my hand for tricks to kill it, and I have none. <laughs> Okay. Do you want to just start collecting clues then, maybe? Yeah, but we need the clues. So, yeah. So I'm... Hmm. Yeah, I, I am not loving my options. I'm going to play... Well, you always have the option, too, to take more cards. Remember, these? all these had, like... Yeah, I did. Like, I already did the, like, once per game draw three cards thing, but I can... A nice bonus. Yeah, I have to be there to use that. I didn't know if you could, if you yeah. could go there. Oh, uh, that's probably not worth the trip. That's I will, I, this act like will be my responsibility. I will figure this out. <laughs> what, what can you play right now? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, I am a scrapper. I can spend resources. It's the permanent card that I bought oh, with my yeah. experience points. I can spend resources to get plus one combat each. So I can actually make myself very rich and then pour them all into. So here, let me. I don't. I think I'm going to deal with the acolyte next turn. This turn, I'm going to play an emergency cash to get three more. And then I'm going to use three of them to play dark horse, so that I am stronger when I'm poor again. Okay. So that next turn I can go there, spend all my resources on scrapper, and also get that bonus nice. and take it out. Great. So that leaves me with one action now. I'd say clue it. I'm kind of leaning towards draw a card. I would really like to yeah, find my yeah. fire axe or something cool. like That's that. That's true. Fire axe yeah. is good. Oh, my hand. Okay, no, I'll... Yeah, draw a card. 
Didn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even get something useful. Okay. So that's the end of your turn. That is. And then we reboot. Uh, we do. If there were any enemies, they would act. So there's an acolyte, but it doesn't have anything to do. So now upkeep. Draw one card. Gain one resource. Ooh, I got something else that will happen. Oh, I got the hypochondriac again. Oh no, you gotta put that in play. Okay, so every time you take damage, you also take horror. I'll get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah. Okay, everyone took their card and resource. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then oh, it's resource. a new round. Oh, here's your resource. Thank you. Right, we are at five out of six doom on the agenda. Staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> I have found myself behind a locked door. It's an obstacle. Uh, uh, revelation. Attached to the location with the most clues without a locked door. Most clues is north side. It says the location where this locked door is cannot be investigated. You, we need to go there, spend an action, and pass a test of either for combat to break down the door or for agility to pick the lock. And that will get rid of the locked door. Okay. So... No investigating north side, and we'd really like to because it has victory points, and the yeah. shroud and the shroud isn't that bad. Okay, I think but I can, all right. I think I can help with that next turn. All right, false lead. Um, revelation. If you have no clues, false lead gains surge. That would mean you discard it and draw another one. Okay. If you have one or more clues, test four for uh, test four um, of my intellect. Mm -hmm. For each point you fail by, place one of your clues on your location. Ooh, this can make you drop your clues. Okay, so I have to test against... Four in it. And I have five, and then I have six. No. That's willpower. But if I spend one, I could have six. You could, yeah. Is it worth it? For it's up to you. I mean, the worst case scenario is you drop a clue. No, I think and I... you can pick it back up. Yeah. If you had more clues and were risking, like, losing mm -hmm. a lot of them, then maybe... <laughs> You know, it's a good thing you didn't spend any resources because you were going to fail regardless fail with regardless. that auto fail. So. Regardless with that auto fail. Yep. Okay. All right, you dropped your one clue. That it could have been worse. It could be worse. Obscuring fog attached to your location. All right, so the shroud at downtown is five now until someone successfully investigates it. Okay. We're going to find one of these cultists someday, guys. Right? right? Maybe. I dream a dream. Okay, I'm going to help out here on this one. So that'll be an okay. action. Two resources for a flashlight. Just kind of get an Great, yeah, here's another battery. So that'll be make this location minus two. But um, first you have to clear the locked door yes. before you can investigate. Uh, this is just for the future. Great. Um, and then it's four. I have four. I'll do just this guy. So Throw have, a B cop in? Yeah, it will be five. Okay. Right now, skulls are only minus one, which is good. Cool. Oh, no. Minus two, so I still get it. Do you? No, I, I don't. No, you were only up by one. I place a doom on a cult. And I put a doom over on this acolyte. And now we need to beat that this round, or we, we lose. Uh, well, the agenda advances. The agenda. Which means bad things happen, this and we'll be closer to losing. Why don't I... Try to deal with that acolyte? Yeah. Okay. So, when so I'm going to move to St. Mary's Hospital, which says... Arkham's only hospital, St. Mary's, has a 24-hour receiving room and is busy at all hours of the night. Dr. Mortimer and Nurse Sharon have been particularly stressed lately, thanks in part to recent events. An extended stay at St. Mary's can do wonders for the body, but its effect on one's psyche is unclear. <laughs> Um, it has an action on it that says heal three damage once per game. I have two damage on me, so I'll see if I have time. <laughs> it does get three clues. There's a lot of clues, and we haven't been able to get... We've yeah. gotten two. How many do we have? We have two. We've gotten two, because we've been chasing villains. Okay, so this acolyte engaged me. It was only a small sacrifice, it says. It has three combat, and I have one. But if I spend all my resources... Then I will have five and dark horse triggers and making it six. I believe in you. That's pretty good. I can give you one more. I also have a... No, you can't if you're not in my location. Oh, damn it, I keep yeah. forgetting that part. We were usually at our at the, the same, same location, location in, in the house, but we're more spread out now. Yeah. I'm actually going to kind of be a little risky. You know, no, I was going to say I was going to spend less than all my resources, but I'm just going to spend them all. All right. 
four resources, making me, after Dark Horse, six versus three. This better work. <laughs> I have no backup plan. Uh, <laughs> Minus one. Okay. Right. okay. The Acolyte's dead. Yay! The Doom is back off the table. We have another round. And I am I think I'm going to start to just get these clues. Yep. I can, as I'm going to end my turn here. Next turn, if I want to heal, I can. So... Yes, I will just investigate. Since I'm broke, Dark Horse pumps me up to four in a life versus two. Plus one. Get a clue. Yay. Putting us at three. So for my turn, I've got some fun things. Um, this one says, uh, it's a deduction. It says, if the skill test is successful while investigating a location, discover one additional clue at that location. Two additional clues instead if succeeds by two or more. That's your level up one. So I don't, I don't know what that means, but I think it's good. It is good. So <laughs> it would add, it has two icons, right? It would add two mm -hmm. intellect to your test. And then if you succeed, you get multiple clues okay. all, all at once. So, so you have to beat five for this location, by the way. With the fog. Okay. Um, can I, do I just lay that down? Yeah, it's a skill card. You just discard it and, okay. and add its add its values to the test. Okay. So what are you at for intellect? So I'm at, I'm five, and then I can, that adds six, seven. Mm -hmm. And what, I'd have to have five to beat that? Don't forget your magnifying glass. Eight. Yeah, so eight, and yes, five is, is the number to beat. Okay. So that's a good spot to beat. Yeah, let's do that. All right, here's the chaos bag. Minus one. Great. You so pass. I pass. And you passed by at least two, right? Yep. That means you've cleared the fog and, and you've gotten three clues. Awesome. Two additional ones for reduction. Nice play. I'm going to get the last clue. All right. Um, it's, okay. down, it's down to three shroud now that the fog is gone. Zero. Zero. <laughs> Yay. Golden. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. We're starting to, this is a little more under control. We're, that, that we're, was a we're good, almost through the whole first agenda, but... That was a good first, like... Good, uh, we've gotten the game back... Maybe. We'll see how this next round in goes. control. So, five on Predator or Prey. I drew a Wizard of the Order. It's a cultist that spawns at any empty location, and at the end of every Mythos phase, we place a Doom on it. So as long as it survives, it keeps getting Doom. Okay. So we have to kill it really yeah, fast. Yeah, I'll put it... I'm going to put it down at the university so that Roland can swing down and kill it. Okay. Hopefully. And okay, I... That's four combat, so it's a little tricky to kill. And here you go. Uh, mysterious Chanting. Uh, Revelation placed two Doom on the nearest cultists. If there are no cultist enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard. Um, so there so two, are... There is a cultist this Wizard of the Order, so we're going to put two Doom on it. Okay. It doesn't really hurt anything since... We have to it doesn't, him anyway. it doesn't advance the agenda, yeah. Okay. False lead. If you have no clues, false lead gains surge. If you have one or more clues, test book. For each point you mm -hmm. fail by, place one of your clues on the location. Okay, so you could drop all your clues here. Okay. And it's three versus four. Just draw an elder sign, and it'll give you plus six since you're rolling. Uh-oh. Minus three. And it says if you fail, you drop one of your clues, so you drop a lot oh, of clues. Okay, oh so boy, what's the shroud at? What's that? Just I three. can go there next. We'll have to pick them back up. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. So why don't I start? These are, the clues are pretty easy at the hospital. I'll see if I can get us to six and then use one of my actions to spawn okay. a cultist. Okay. So I will, if you can hand me the bag, I'll investigate with Dark Horse. I am at four versus two. Minus one. I'm good. I'll take a clue. So now we're at six. We're at six. Mm -hmm. Let's spend them all for my second action. We will. Gosh, that works. Over there. Draw the top card of the cultist deck, which is a special deck we've set aside. We found the whereabouts of Wolfman Drew. Uh-oh. <laughs> he spawns downtown is where, he's been, where he hangs out, and he's a pretty tough, and it says when Wolfman Drew attacks, heal one damage from him, so he bites you and heals. Daisy, since you're in downtown, the Wolfman's going to be your friend. He's going to be my friend, and I have Hypochondriac too, so. Oh boy, That's okay. Well, I have one action left. 
I'm going to spend it investigating. <laughs> just, try to, just try to finish off the hospital. I don't have that much else that I want to get done this turn. Next turn, if Roland wants to help you with Wolf Mandrew, I can try to take out the Wizard of the Order. Okay. Uh, tablet. Minus three. Fail and drop a clue. So, um, which you don't have a clue, so. I don't have a clue, so that's okay. But that's my last action. Should he actually come try to help me with this? Or should he be going after this? Because that's more important. It's not actually that important since we're going to be at six doom on the agenda alone okay. soon. It's not really going to matter what's on the wizard. Okay. So he came so, back. Yeah. So, okay. So he moves over to downtown. It's Scott. Foa. All right. I only have five. Um, can... Now that we're on Dude, the same one, can I give him... You can. Do you want to engage it so that your machete gives plus one damage? Yes. So I'll take him. Oh, I put him right here. Okay, so action two is engaging him. And then I can give an extra point. An extra sure, yeah. You're testing point. your machete makes it five versus his four. Yeah, if you want to help him out. And then this makes six? Yeah. Six versus four. That's, that's a cushier place to be. Especially because the skulls are minus two right now. Oh, okay. minus two. So <laughs> Way to go. go. There we go. <laughs> good skill card, good skill card. So he is going to get two damage. Okay. That's half gone. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we can land another two damage on him, then we have one of our six cultists. So that has to be me, though. I have to, I have to fight him now, right? Uh, I mean, you don't have to because he's on, he's on Roland. So you could just leave <laughs> and find another way to be helpful. If you, I mean, can, they... if you think you can get it, you've got to test against his four. All right. To kill yeah, Wolfman. Let's heal. do it. So six versus yeah. four, and I pray. This. Could I? Should I get rid of this first? Because I have three moves. No, I don't. Because I'm. It's up to you. Well, let's okay. attack him first, and then... Yeah, you... that way if you fail, you can attack again. Okay. Um, well, did, I won't be did, able to attack again, because I'm a... using both oh, of these. Well, yeah, that's true. Did you spend a charge from your shipment? No, I didn't. <laughs> so... It, it's, it's up to you. So there's... I should oh. take, no, I should take my first two moves and okay. get rid of this, and then, and then I can spend my last thing, because I can't attack him again. Right, sure. Cool. Okay, right. okay. Hypochondria's gone. What'd you get? The shroud, Cultus. which is two. Okay. So Minus two, you pass. Wins. And good. then it also says place one doom on the nearest cultist, which is fine right now. Put it on the Wizard of the Order. So, great. You killed it. I killed it. Wolfman Drew is dead. We're going to put him in our victory display. Or, yeah, sorry, he's not dead. We've interrogated him. <laughs> <laughs> We're not the killers here. <laughs> <laughs> So Wolfman Drew has been interrogated. I mean, he is a cannibal. It's not really helping anything for us to leave him alive, but still. I don't think we can. So that's the end of that round. That is correct. That's There's the end of that round. We've one, one enemy on the board, but he doesn't attack. Uh, he, yeah, he doesn't act. Since and then no we'd get location. one of those, and it would push us top, to the next top round. Top of a new round. Now we're over the six. Yeah, I want to read us the back side of the agenda. I read us the back. The back. <clears throat> Masked Hunter just appears, engaged with Prey. Most clue. Prey is most clues. Oh, so... None of us. None of us. So the Masked Hunter um, gets plus two health per investigator, and while you're engaged with the Masked Hunter, you cannot discover or spend clues. Oh boy. So yeah, the backside of that agenda is one of the six cultists we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> he just springs out on us. He, he would engage the person with the most clues, but no one has more clues than anyone else, so we can just choose who he engages. And he has plus two health per investigator, meaning he has ten health. So he's kind of, he's a boss. Okay. Do you want to take him? Yeah, I guess I'll have to take him. Okay. Okay. It's a good thing we took care of Drew so there weren't two big dads mm -hmm. here. Oh, blacked out there for a minute. <laughs> where, where were we? Dying. Dying. Two encounter cards. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. I got Hunting Shadow, it's Peril, so you guys cannot give input. You must either spend one clue or take two damage. I have no clues to spend. Two damage. Ow. I'm at four out of seven damage. Oof. Here you go. Uh, locked door obstacle. Revelation. Attached to the location with the most clues and without a locked door. Uh, the attached location cannot be investigated. So that would That's be gotta go to the university. One, which is where I was going mm -hmm. next. That's super crappy. 
What do you need again? To, so you need will powers. Uh, yeah. It's it's um combat or agility to bust the door da- down or pick the locks. Oh, combat so get there. Which I don't have yeah. very well. I so really she needs like one of us to go. Like I could so do it with agility. You, you could do you it with combat. Do it. But I could go there. Could I go there and kill him first, and then someone else would come and unlock the door? Yeah, or, like we could meet there. Or do you have to unlock yeah. the door before you can kill the guy inside? Uh, no, the door just prevents you from investigating. Okay. Do- doesn't matter for the fight. Uh, you still got a card. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna fail this. <laughs> um, on Wings of Darkness. Oh, Reve- we haven't seen that yet. Revelation. Test agility four. If you fail, take one damage and one horror, then disengage from each non night gaunt enemy engaged with you and move to a central location. So a big winged night gaunt is trying to swoop you up and carry you away. The central location is Rivertown here, so basically it's going to. Take you, it's going to leave the Masked Hunter behind and take you to Rivertown. So if I fail... Which wouldn't be so bad if Daisy wasn't there. It's going to immediately leap onto Daisy. And I happens. can't. I just have to evade it. I can't <laughs> fight that thing. So if I fail, do I still disengage and go to Central? Or is that only part of... Uh, you... Is it all, all together? All, yeah, all of that happens only if you fail. Okay. Don't fail. I only have two agility and nothing to add to it. So we're... Oh, God. I'm sorry. You've only got one card, so you're not too helpful. Zero. Uh, Not enough. I'm going to go with a fail on that one. Okay, take one damage and one horror. Here you go. But this does give me the opportunity to... Oh, would you like to put the horror on your Elder Sign Amulet? Yes. This might give me the opportunity to load myself for the battle with this guy because I don't have anything currently. I need to put some stuff down. The most unfortunate thing is that Daisy has it now. Yep. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. It's the end of the Mythos phase. That's when the Wizard of the Order gets a Doom. Okay. And gets one every round. Okay, good. So what are the odds that you can evade it? And um, Which one is the evade? That's you. Uh, it's two? Yeah, you tested it. It's difficulty two. So we're tied at evade. You don't have any real way to pump yourself up. No. Hmm. Um... Could you maybe... And I need eight to fight it? Well, you need at least five. Uh, you, you, have to least beat, you have to beat it's four. It's four, and I can have... If I... Because I have... If I use this, then I can... You're I have sure five. Mm-hmm. I can hit it. I could try to fight it once. That doesn't get you out of the situation, though. You do two damage to it. It's still on you. We need to get you away from it and then have... Probably roll and circle back to it eventually. The problem is it's going to take me two turns just to get there, and then a turn to engage it. I can go first. So, I could go first. I have a card that can get me, can let me jump within no actions at all to a space next to it, and then I could move in. I'm, th- I'm thinking this through. Wait. I'd have to play Emergency Cash for Resources. Mm-hmm. I can hop over to you. That's not an action. I could move... I could engage it. That doesn't leave me an action to evade it. What if I fight it once, and if I win, then you do all of that, and you fight it once, and you win, and then it's dead? I can't fight it. You can't fight I've got it. nothing going on. I need to find my fire axe from my, from my deck. Um, I could, if I get to you, I can throw a pretty helpful card into an evasion test for you, and you can try to evade it. Maybe um, that's the best bet. Did we already draw cards and take resources? I think we might have forgotten. I think we might have. Let's, let's just do it now. Yep, let's do it now. <laughs> okay. It's all good. Here you go. Thank you. I actually should have discarded. Oh, my fire axe. Well, that's not helpful. The fire axe is helpful. Oh, fire axe. Okay, can well, you... I can probably deal with this wizard of the order then. Can you afford the fire, fire axe? Fire only costs one. Ooh, yeah. nice. It will leave me perfectly broke. Tell you what, I wish I could afford my guns. <laughs> All right. So what's what's our plan here? Um, so it's going to take me two moves to get back to here. And then yeah. I either have to attack it and risk miss not hitting her. Or engage and then just not take an attack. I think... Oh, man... So, the best that I can do is I can get up there and I can engage 
it from you. Mm -hmm. But then I'll be done. I don't, I don't have an action left to evade it with. And I would take a hit at the end of my turn. And that would put me one away from death. So yeah. I would rather not. I, as I said, I can I can engage it once and fight it once, and then well, you are you already engaged with it. Well, I mean, sorry, I can yeah. I can fight it once, and I might win. I have really good chance uh, of winning. Yeah, once. just that getting two out of, two out of ten damage on it doesn't solve the problem. That's gonna wail. Well, us. if I, I if I take a damage at the end of my turn, if he's still alive, right? You take uh, two damage and one horror. That's what that is. Shit. Yeah. So <laughs> I, can, heavy I can actually eat the horror and some of the damage. Since I have nine health, well, I have eight health, and I can put a horror on yeah. here. So maybe so it would be better if I just moved up there and engaged. Just to move, move, engage? Yeah, I think, you know, I think maybe that's just, so. That's just, I think that's just what I'm going to have to do. Okay. So let's see. Can I go here? Mm -hmm. Move, move, engage. Okay, so that night got set you back a whole turn, basically. Back, back to where you started. <laughs> Pretty much. Where started. <laughs> Roland has terrible evade. He like he's just supposed to sit there and take it. Yeah, but, well, he's supposed to not sit there and take it. He's supposed to kill her. <laughs> <laughs> I only have two damage. On the, I only have two damage on that table and not enough resources to yeah, pick yeah, up anything yeah. new. Um, Let's see what we put down. Art student who discovers <laughs> a clue at my location. So she's helpful. Ooh. Should I still try to come fight this guy? I think I can take care of it and you can save your last shriveling charge. Mm -hmm. Because you're like never going to have any. Yeah, because I used it before to help but him. She could take a damage and two horror, maybe I should. No, well, I still couldn't move if I had done that. Never mind. Okay. Um, don't forget, Daisy, you're at the bank where you can gain three resources. Yes. Once. So it's my turn. Should I um, do it or do you want to go first? Or go second? Let me. Do you want to come up here and help us or do you want to go after the wizard? I, man, I'm, I'm, I guess I, I'll go after the wizard. Can you get up there for me? Yeah, they connect. So before I go, I'm going to play Fire Axe. So I'm just going to try and reveal some of these. Uh... And then, what's its attack? Just one damage. You know, I think I'm just going to have to set up this round, and next round I'll go up and kill it. It will be pretty harmless. It doesn't hunt. It'll just sit there. And so you can... Go here. Go to East Town and investigate, or whatever. Okay. Whatever else you want to do yeah. with your turn. Get more resources. Um, okay, so do we need, oh, second action? I'll play emergency cash for three. Do we need to resign before this deck runs out? Do or is that just reshuffle? Uh, we'll just reshuffle the encounter okay. deck. Yeah. And that gives me one more action. Why don't I play my amulet? For two. Wendy's Amulet says that it's, it's my signature card. I like, may play the topmost event in my discard pile as though it were in my hand, and after I play an event, I put it at the bottom of my draw pile. So that they don't just keep going back to my discard mm -hmm. pile to be played again and again. But this way I can get a couple more emergency caches out of there. I think it'll be good. And it gets me where I want to be on resources, which is about one. Cool. Okay, I'm finished. I'm going to take. The three thing I get from this, which is gain three, gain three resources, resources. At the bank. Yeah, I'm going to start Here, there. Here's your withdrawal. Thank you. Now we have to decide, should I come here and try and unlock the door so we can get at this? Or I can stay here. I'm, I'm afraid yeah. to stay here because if this, for some reason, comes off. Yeah, it shouldn't unless it like kills him somehow. Well, in I that mean, case I then... Mind you or if he gets... Carried away. <laughs> I wouldn't mind you if you tried to attack it and then left. I can attack it and just, then like do your one because we need to chip away at it. I'm happy yeah. to attack it. I can I have I have one hit left on my shrimp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shrimp thing. Um I also was going to say I have in the know, which lets me investigate other things that I'm not at. Um So yeah, if someone else clears the door, you can use that to get several clues off of the place yeah. where the door was. I would lean towards just clearing East Town. Because you could... Oh, now, now that you're rich, you could also go to Northside and spend five resources to gain two clues. But I don't think you should waste your time trying to break down the doors. I only have four. I only have four. Uh, you can always take one for an action. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. But uh, you don't have enough actions to do all of that right now. Whatever you think. How much are you going to hate me if I don't attack? 
You can leave if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has. <laughs> That's why Roland lived in a dilapidated house by himself on the edge of town. You didn't live um, by yourself. There are tons of ghouls in there. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I feel like getting rid of my shivering is the last is is my like that's my last line of defense. Did you say shivering? I might have said shivering. We <laughs> that's not just, nearly as I don't want to talk about not it. Not nearly as threatening. <laughs> it's my shivering, um, shriveling. I don't. I can't. I can't speak. Um, but you've also saved my life a whole bunch of times in the game, so I'll I'll give it a try. All right. All right. I'll fight it for you. All right. Let's see it. This is this Draw is me well. trying to be a good person. You can't look. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh wait, wait, wait. What is what is the skull again? It's the skull is the highest number of doom. That's one. Okay. You're okay. good. Okay. You did it. Nice job. So wait, how much That's cool. How much damage did you do? Okay, I'll give you I'll give you I'm only right, hanging. Right. I just didn't see. Uh, it. she did two damage, right? What the normal one and then the shriveling is plus one. Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay. It's okay. down to That's eight. Down to eight. But now uh, this has to go in my discard pile, right? Because it's all done? Right. Yes. Bye, defense. <laughs> oh, sorry. actually, sorry. And it doesn't go in your discard pile, but it doesn't do you any good either. So um, it just... You could you, hold on to it because if something like forces you to like discard an asset from play or something, it, it can be that one. Okay. <laughs> I just can't use it anymore. So now you have two moves left. Um, uh, no, I have one because I took three oh, resources. Took, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, one more. So, do you want to move here, or do you want to go over here? And you can also draw a card. Your lone card. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a card. That's a good idea. Uh, inquiring mind is a skill. Commit to skill test only if there is a clue at your location. Mm. That could help you open a door. Yeah. So with that plus three, like, and these locations obviously have clues. So oh, you yeah. might be able to get a door open. I'll go to there next, yeah. assuming cool. I can. Uh, that is everyone. So we'll wake these back up. We need. Sh that Take a resource. Enemy doesn't act. So yeah, a card and a resource. Thank you. Ooh, Roland's thirty-eight special. Oh, nice. So I spend one ammo and get plus one for the attack. If there are one or more clues on your location, you get plus three. Well, that's not true. It gives me not plus here. one. Well, maybe the encounter deck will make one of you guys drop a clue. <laughs> oh, neither of you have clues. No, no one has clues anymore. <sighs> well, fun. I'm about to, though. Time is running shorter. We're at two out of eight. And the my encounter card, the same thing you got. There were the bottom two cards of the deck, On the Wings of Darkness. So I'm... I should pick this back up. A night god swoops down from the sky and grabs you with its clawed hands, carrying you off into the night. I couldn't remember whether you read that, so I just read it. You have to win. You can't <laughs> uh, take that I have that to hit. test my agility. If I fail, take one damage, one horror, and get moved to the center. I don't mind the movement. But one damage would suck. Do you have plus one because of this card? I don't because I'm not broke. Dark Horse only pumps me up if I'm out of money. I could pour it into Scrapper, though. How about your ally? Uh, he gives me plus one. So I'm so at five. You have five. That's not too bad. You so I'm going to spend one resource on Scrapper to make it six. Uh, six versus four. That's where I like to be. If you spent two resources, wouldn't you, could you then use the other one too? Then the dark horse would pump me up and I'd be at eight. But still, if you're at two, we're playing on standard difficulty. The bag actually gets harder on harder difficulties, but I'm feeling pretty good at up by two. Famous last words. Famous yeah. last words. Oh, what's the tablet? Oh, no. Three. If you fail, place one of your clues on a location. Well, I don't have any clues to lose, but I did fail. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> wow, okay, so the night got flies me to Rivertown. I take a damage, and I'll put the horror onto Peter Sylvester. Can you? Oh, can you? Oh, no, because he'd be dead, right? He, the damage would kill him, so I'm going to wait. But once I'm at six, like then I would put my next yeah. one on him. Okay, uh, we need to give these a quick shuffle. And the enemy, this guy did not act because I engaged him from her. Oh, or no, he I'm does sorry. Act. He should have acted. No, yeah. no, let's I, well, go, I go, ahead and, go ahead and take two damage and one horror, however you want to put that on your cards. Horror will go onto the amulet, and the damage will go here. All right. Man, you guys are the ones schooling me on this game now. I'm making all the mistakes. <laughs> Hey man, I was more than willing to let you not give me that damage. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, so why don't you cut the deck first so that whatever happens is your fault. <laughs> and there you go. <sighs> so I cannot... A humanoid yeah. cultist. An mm. empty location. Uh, is it an acolyte? After acolyte enters yeah. play, place one doom on it. So I just lay it down. In, on any location with no people or enemies. Graveyard. Interesting. And we have to place one doom on it. Yes, we do. That puts us up to three out of eight. And Scott. It only takes one to beat that guy? Uh, he has one hit point. It oh, takes a three. test of three. Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> haunting Night Guard. Hunter, while attempting to do evade haunt, Hunting Night Gaunt, double the negative modifier of each revealed chaos token. Does it just... Do I get double engaged? You do get double engaged. Which sucks because now your machete doesn't do extra damage. It only does extra damage if it's the only thing you're engaged Jesus with. Christ. Yeah, we gotta solve this. Maybe I need to come join you guys. And I think you need to come join us. Because I can't, can't take it. Oh, man. Okay, well, it's back to our turn. Mm -hmm. um, after we put one more Doom on Wizard of the Order. Okay. How are we getting you out of this one? My evade is not... I could maybe evade the Night Gaunt. Like, if you're lucky with the tokens. Yep. But I still need to fight this guy. You have basically the same odds of evading them both, because it's going to double the minus on the Night Gaunt. So, like, if you're up by one, you might as well be at zero, right? equal. Well, maybe I'll just try... I, I mean... Maybe I'll try and evade and just pick which one. I can absolutely... I'm in the same boat I was last turn where I can like get there, engage one, and sit there. My problem is I need to put more damage on the table. And the question is whether I take the hit. It would be three damage and two horror now, but... Yeah. Oh, man. Let's see. Maybe Roland resigns. <laughs> <laughs> I have the that inquiring mind thing I got is three question marks, is three wilds. You know, I'm gonna, so that could help with a test. That could help with one I'm, of your battles. I wonder if you should just hack away at these, even though it's going to be one damage, and I can try to come up with my fire axe and finish it off. If you want to engage or, it, that's fine. I don't want to take hits from it. That's true. Why don't I come up hit it once with my axe, hopefully laying two damage on it, and then you can do attack, attack on the Night Gaunt to finish it off, and then an attack on the Mass Hunter. Sure, let's do that then. Because once the, we want you to be only engaged with one thing for the machete's sake. Yeah, that's true, because we need and the two Daisy, damage. you can run off and go look just for... Just try and just find go, us go more of these acolytes. Look for more cultists. Cultists. Yeah. Okay, so I will move to East Town, move to Downtown, I think is my best route mm -hmm. there, so that's two actions. And then I'm going to fire axe swing at that night gaunt. So I'm going to spend my last action, or excuse me, spend my last resource on the fire axe to get plus two combat. And then I'm broke. So I'm at uh, one, two from Dark Horse, three, four with fire axe. It's not a lot. Hmm. Do either of you have like one combat icon you'd like to throw in my test? I only have those three wilds that I was going to. Given for them. Well, there has to be a clue on the location you can use that, right? Isn't that what that card said? Um, I thought with those you so, can just give the wilds away. Does it not matter? No, so the, the skills are only for that purpose. They're only for putting um, in tests, and so the text applies. Got it. Because that's the text so only, only in the purpose. Out. Yeah. It will help you, like, open a door. <laughs> Woo! Open a door! All right, I'm just going to swing at it four versus three. Hope for the best. Minus two. <sighs> Did you hit me? <sighs> Crap. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Yep, I hit you. Um, for two damage. Roland might be resigned. Yeah, we might have to get out of this mess sooner than later. Right. Okay, well, my turn is complete. You're okay. welcome to the help. I'm picking the Haunting Night Gone to evade. Okay. Minus one. Uh, I think I tied. Yeah, but you double the negatives on the hunting night gaunt. So it's a minus two. So this is all the even the pluses are chaos tokens? Uh, so yeah, if, chaos if tokens I, is everything. So if I drew yeah. this is a chaos token? Yeah. So I fail that. Yeah. 
Okay. We're doing it again. All right. You got this. Last one. Doing it again. <laughs> I, can't, I can't take the hit. You might as well evade the hunter, right? And it will prevent more damage if you're successful. Uh, yeah, doesn't right. matter. So Roland's dead. You're not gonna die. I have to resign the next round. You'll be at eight. I have nine. to resign the next round if I don't. Uh, so. Okay. I think we might have to take the only got one. Per one, uh, oh man, cultist. we gotta be able to no, do more okay, than one so cultist. How many moves would I don't it take to get me there? Can I get there? Can I kill it? So that's not one of the unique cultists. That's not one of the unique we need, ones. The, the only unique ones are the boss is one of them, and the rest come out when we draw clues. Or okay. when we spend clues. Yeah, so that's not okay. one of them. They, they will have um, this little dot in front of their name. Mm, okay. That's how you know it's unique. I feel like this has been ridiculous. So. <laughs> the fates have been harsh to us this game. Yeah, it yeah, happens yeah. sometimes. I am going... Do clues carry over? Between scenarios? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm just going to give this to you for whatever you decide. <laughs> I mean, there's no, I can't, I can't fight it. Because I don't, I don't yeah. have the, I don't have the power. You picked bad starting characters, sir. We do not know. <laughs> no, these enough. characters are the best characters <laughs> in the, in the, uh, in the core set of the game. From the first bunch of five that came out. Can I go? We don't have the firepower, which apparently we I need. <laughs> well, you've got weapons. Currently, all three of us have weapons. We're just not. Well, that's true. Hitting. <laughs> I'm gonna go here, and then mm -hmm. I think I'm going to try and get some clues to see if I can get us anything. Sure. Is that is that? I think I think so. Yeah. Because it's like I, I don't see how you can help with the combat. I tried. I <laughs> tried. I did my, did no, my due diligence. Just, yeah, I, I, and, and I mean, um, she succeeded at trying, but two damage on the hunter just. All right, so what do I need to do to win the clue again? Uh, um, you need to do an intellect test, is your investigation. Okay. And the difficulty is the shroud number here, which is two. The shrouded dude. The cultist. Place one doom on the nearest cultist. Okay, so you pass the test. But the nearest cultist would be one, two. It's your choice of these. Um, would it be better for me to draw a card and maybe it has something healing? Hmm. Um, you do have medical textbooks. It might be too slow to like draw it, play it, go there and use it. It might just be too How little, many, too late. How um, many clues do we need to... We need six to make a cultist appear. We have one. <laughs> <laughs> this this round has not been friendly. It's all right. We're, we're going to get through it. We're going to get through this. it. Um, all right. I'm going to go for trying to get us that last cultist. Okay. We're going to so do investigating. it. Investigating. We're going to investigate. All right. Minus one. We still get it. Sweet. All right. That's that's my turn. So. Okay. So the enemies act. It's just going to be these two attacking you for three damage to horror total. Amulet disappears. Actually, I'm gonna put one of those. On. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna resign. <laughs> oh man, is there really no nothing else I can do? I don't know because we. I'm not. I can't do enough damage to kill this, and I can only do three damage on this one unless you can kill it without um, hitting me. <laughs> um, a doom on the time is running short. Okay. We're at six. We're at damage. six out of eight. Crypt Chill, I'm testing my willpower. If I fail, discard an asset I control from play. I can live with that. Could you pass me back? Yes. Thank you. Um, so my willpower is four versus a test of four. Uh, minus one, I do fail. I'm gonna just discard my amulet from play. I think I'll live without it. Okay. All right, my All right. turn. Mm -hmm. Um, mysterious chanting. Place two doom on the nearest cultist. If there are no cultist enemies in play, search the encounter deck and discard a pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. But there is. It doesn't say that this will cause the agenda to advance. No. Correct. Okay. It does not. So, oh god, what's the plan here? Um, I'm here, so the. Yeah. Moment. I guess we put them on Wizard of the Order, and then we just have to kill this this round. Yeah. The. 
tough thing about this is that those skulls that are minus X or X is the highest we want, and we are now minus fives. <laughs> There's a couple of them in this bag. All right. So that's it's scary. It's fine. We're good. It's fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We got this. We're good. We'll we're be so, fine. We're so good. Okay. So if we resign, does this flip over? Uh, no. If we all resign, then there's a resolution to read when all investigators are defeated or have resigned. I don't know which is worse. <laughs> and if it's res resigning, we don't get to play the third round? We do. Okay. Mm -hmm. The story always continues. Yeah. Life goes on. Life goes on. Mysterious chanting. Place two doom on the nearest cultist <laughs> enemy. Oh, there are no <laughs> yep. cultist enemy. You know what? This really can't get any worse. It's so. fine. It's <laughs> fine. We're, we're fine. <laughs> We're fine. I'm gonna load that up. I actually have to reach into this door behind me for more Doom tokens. <laughs> Thought we had enough on the table. I think but... Roland's feeling like he needs a drink and a rest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, seven know. Doom on the Wizard of the Order. Also, well, it's the end of the Mythos phase, so we put a Doom on Wizard of the Order. <laughs> so, the table is, then... table is currently at 11 out of 8 Doom. <laughs> So question, you've played this before, which is worse, resigning or being doomed out? Uh, on this scenario? Or just in general, what do you think has a, usually a worse outcome? The agenda deck finishing. I think we should all resign. <laughs> to be perfect. So, so and, I, and actually, I, I mentioned this at the beginning because I don't think the messaging is clear, but this in this scenario in particular, you do really want to get out before this runs out. Like, yeah. that's kind of the whole, like... Flee, that, that's like the story that's happening is like we gotta be done before midnight guys we gotta be on our way to find the goals by midnight we found um, one I mean it's not the, yeah, the best but, but if we can just solve this problem and that problem we've got six more rounds <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think Roland can survive well you you drew a dodge well what if I so go so if I take and evade this night gaunt you can dodge this and you've got a whole nother round what if I go first and I take three more cards and I take all three cards and pray there's something healing, or pray that there's something. Well, no, because one of you two needs to go. Over so here. yeah, that's yeah. the big that's problem. The problem. It's I can take, and the wizard is four combat. I could take the night gaunt up from you and evade it pretty easily, and then you can just start smacking the masked hunter with your machete for two damage each, and, and dodge its attack at the end of the round. But that leaves the wizard of the order. You don't have two dodges, do you? I only have the one. I'm sorry, I only <laughs> if have If you can dodge those both. I have it was like two guns, guns, a beat cop, and an art student. I have three guns, a beat cop, and an art student that I can't put down. Wait, I could play this to evade, maybe. Right, just throw it out? Oh, yeah, you can play any number of... Oh, and, and if you want to evade also, I can throw in a manual dexterity that gives you two more agility. So maybe that's the way to go, is we start with you and see whether you can evade one of these. Okay, but if he evades, does he still get hit at the end of the round? Not no. by not by whichever one or, or two he evaded. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go for the. Do I wait? Do I, I forget? Do I play so, this now? Yeah, before you draw the token. So choose which one you're evading, and then throw in any cards you'd like to, and I, I will also two. add one. So I'm just gonna do two. <laughs> two. Both your guns go into this. Okay, I have a so, third gun. So that puts you up to four skill. Yep. All right. I want you to be able to be like. To be able to survive a minus two that's doubled on the hunting night gun, so I'll also give you this. So you're at six versus this one. Six versus one, but with its modifier doubled. Cultist? So minus minus two. two, but place a doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Well, what's so, what's one more doom on the wizard? So I have invading him. He's you evaded it. You just put it um exhausted like at our location, at the downtown location. Yeah. Okay. Now what? You just keep hitting the masked hunter. Yes, I just keep or I no because I'm at, I don't have enough moves. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I guess I just keep hitting the masked hunter. What? It, mm -hmm. Minus one, but I still hit him. Okay, two more damage, right? Two more damage. And isn't isn't he at four or what is he? At? He's at he ten. Has six more health. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, keep it going. Zero. So great. Okay. So you're at damage. six out of ten. Okay, so and I'm you can dodge it. Dodge his next attack mm -hmm. then. All right, so, so Roland's let me, done. Let me just put this on the table. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna play this now. So I've dodged. He take. I take no damage from him at the next. All right. One. So that's out of the way. And then you're done. And I am done. Okay. All right. I think. Here's the question: If you go to the place where the Wizard of the Order is. Mm -hmm. you could play your big skill when I attack it. What's is my big skill? That, like, three icon one? Yeah. 
that might be worth it. It's like yeah. kind of, it's taking a lot of your time because it's like two moves there, but... But we're game over. If we fail that, it's game over. Especially now that you've taken your turn. We, it's too late for us to decide to resign this round. So we have to kill this or the agenda So let's go advancing. there. Okay, so I'll want... Uh, you would need to go first that you're already there when I... Go okay, there, so right? I'm going to so move ahead. to get there. It takes mm -hmm. me two moves. Do you want to do one action before you get there so that it, it doesn't attack you? Oh, I was going to say, action? I was going to take a card Perfect. because then I might have something else to contribute. Yeah. Um, I thought this was a pizza for a minute, but it's not. It's hyper awareness. <laughs> I've, never, I've never looked at that and thought pizza. Well, if you just glance in, just like glance at it. Okay, you know, the red, kind of the, the red and brown and yellow, like, all right, yeah, I, I see it a little bit. Okay, so two moves. How do I do this? Um, Through Rivertown, yeah. And then I'm over here now. Okay, and so it's going to engage you. Yep. That's the other thing is I'm going to risk hitting you with my fire axe taking the shot. That's fine. But again, like I can take if it. If the game's gonna end, then why not take the risk? I can take it off with this guy right here. Okay. Yeah. Make sure all that doom is on it. <laughs> we want to be able to not. We want to not even be able to see his face under all the doom. Okay. Okay. All right. Daisy is done. It all, it all, all right. down and here. So now I can give you so my I'm fire gonna mind. Move, move, attack. So yeah, so I'm gonna spend so I've got one combat. I'm gonna spend a resource on the fire axe to make it two, three, then dark horse makes it four, and you can make it five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. So seven versus four. That's it that's pretty good. Um is I'm there calling anything it right now? It's going to be a skull that's minus nine right now. <laughs> Don't pull a skull! Uh, you can only, Don't pull you can a only, skull! You can only put one card into someone else's Don't skill pull a skull! Set, so Don't sure pull a skull! Do. Don't pull a skull! Can, wait, can you kill this thing? Yeah, this this will kill it if I, if I succeed at this test. It's going to do two damage, which then only has no, two hits here. I thought it had four. I don't know no. why. Yeah, it has four. Don't pull a skull. Oh man, where is the non-skull one here? Alright. Alright, this is the one. I got it. I can't look. I can't look. It's a zero! It's a zero! <laughs> All right, all right. We're not by any, we're, we have no, by no means like got ourselves in a good position. We're, we have bought some time. And in the end, isn't that really what matters? Sweet baby Jesus. Okay, all right. Okay, the Wizards of the Order is dead. Nine Doom is off the table. The skulls are now minus ones again. <laughs> and we're only at three out of eight instead of 12 out of eight. <laughs> yeah, cool. Can't. Roland was what a game, game, huh? Roland <laughs> is still ready to go get a drink and resign. I'm just <laughs> okay. So yeah. it's the enemy phase. The mass hunter attacks you, but you've played dodge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hunting night gaunt. All it does is readies, and it's gonna engage you again. So you're back in the same mess, but we can come and try to help. And we all get to take a resource and draw. And card. we all get to draw a card, take a resource. Doom number three on time is running out. So four total on the table. I drew an Acolyte, so it's going to add a Doom. I'm just going to put it in East Town. It goes on any empty location. Alright. Okay. Dooms just like to add up on us, don't they? So, oh, before we strategize, here you go. Oh, yeah, we're all back up to five Doom again. If you come over and kill this, you'll get a clue, because you're Roland. I can't um. leave. I know, I just need to some someday. <laughs> Roland's so, been stuck in location after location. <laughs> Hunting Shadow. Uh, I must either choose to spend one clue or take two damage. Oh, and it's peril, so we can't advise you. What do you want to do? I'm going to spend one clue. Okay. Clue or take two damage. Oh, the same one. Okay. I don't have a clue. So, oh no. Should have resigned. Yeah, you take damage. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Roland it's is, fine. Roland is dead. Roland's defeated. He's just defeated. He's not dead. You'll get a physical trauma in the next scenario, in addition to your mental trauma. So, unless but, you guys feel like coming up here and trying to kill this guy for the victory points and ending it... Uh, well, he's also one of the objective cultists. So that's there, there's also that That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He has... So we have to go. Four health left. Um, you guys have to be able to We do... really need to get up there so we can We could also them. just run away from it. It hunts, but we can we have there's we're not adjacent to it. Does yeah, it but let's take let's take Roland off the table since you're super defeated. Um, yeah, it's a hunter. It's kind of buried right in the middle of its text oh, box. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, it's a, he's called the Masked Hunter, so I guess uh, there's that. we should assume. He is silently stalking, except he just leapt out at you and pummeled you till you were dead. My point, but, though, 
isn't it like since he already has a bunch of damage done to him and we know him and we want to get at least two of these guys before time runs out, wouldn't right. it be behoove us to go fight him? I say if you can get to him and beat him, I'm you could probably eat this guy's damage. I'm kind of leaning towards doing the opposite of what you're saying. Well, Going just, and getting other clues, trying to get a different cultist to appear and getting that one. I don't know, like, are, are they all for the probably next turn for health, health, right? Um, I assume? It, it's wrong to assume that we have to fight most of them. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, the other problem, too, is you both, I don't think either of you have enough combat to unlock the clues. I can oh, just I, buy I have it. the agility for that. Yeah, okay. I can buy it. Um, like, I could go unlock that door, and then I could... So let's see, I want to stay oh, the heck away from that masked hunter. Um, it's Prey is who has the most clues, so it's going to chase Daisy specifically if it's a tie. So we can use that knowledge to our advantage. It's not like it's random. Mm -hmm. it's, it's predictable. Remember, you also need six clues to make a cultist reveal itself. Yeah. So we have checked out the graveyard. There's likely going to be clues there, too. And there's a cultist to kill. Yeah, that card's not flipped. Yeah, nice. So I'm kind of leaning towards moving, moving, and killing that acolyte as okay. my turn. And it will get the doom off the table, and it will let us learn what the clue situation is there. Okay. Do you want to go first? Sure. So that means I'm not opening the door for you. That's I'll leave fine. you to either open the door or investigate something else. Mm -hmm. So move to Rivertown, move to the graveyard. What do we got here? The graveyard lies at the foot of French Hill. Some of the headstones date back to the 17th century, when the early, earliest colonists came to Arkham. Considering what happened to your house... You're not completely keen on heading there. Uh, it has a victory point on it. It's going to have six clues, only one shroud. Mm. So if there's a place that I can investigate, it's this one. Yay! <laughs> um, it says, forced, after you enter the graveyard, test willpower three. If you fail, you must either take two horror or move back to Rivertown. Oof. Um, I'm not too worried about that because I have decent... I have decent willpower and also I could afford to take two horror. So I'll just take that test. There's the six clues on that location. I'm up by one for this test. And I'll draw... The auto fail. Our old friend, the auto fail. No, 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 it's, I take two horror or move back. I'm gonna oh, choose, I'm gonna choose okay. the two horror. Because uh, I can put one on Peter, and he now that my turn's over, he heals it. That's pretty painless. And so I'm done. Was that two moves for you? I guess it was. I moved, moved. Yes. What is this? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm not done. I moved, moved, and then was gonna attack the Acolyte. That's my last one. So I'll do that with uh, spending this resource on Fire Axe. I get one, two, three, four against its three. So I'm hoping for a little luck here. Unless... Uh, I'll put an icon into this. I want to succeed, so I'm going to go up to plus two. So am I completely out? Like, I can't give you any help? From yeah, the grave? you're unfortunately out. Okay, just make it. You'll be, you'll be back in the next scenario. Minus four. I fail on the Acolyte. This has engaged me. Okay, I'll just have to kill it next round. Daisy, you're up. All right, so where can this guy go? He will move one he space towards here? you. Like basically, he can only go he to these go two. To these he can okay. only he can only go from from where he is. He'll move to only one of these two. That's that, and that's that. So neither of those two can come here. Uh, not this turn, right? So where I am... So if you swing down there, you've got some time. I right. can come you can go to the hospital. here, or I can go there. So I'm going to go there. Oh, those two do connect. Okay, yeah, you can go straight to south side. Yeah, I'm going to go straight to south side. Cool. And then I'm going to investigate. Okay. So what's, what am I trying to beat here? Uh, the shroud here is three. So I have five, six, I'll go six. Okay. Oh, seven. Uh, six. And you counted the rosary and shouldn't have. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you would think the little head icon is your smarts, you but it's not. It's your willpower. Plus one. Ooh. All so right. Help yourself. And I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Despite Roland being defeated, we still have to get six clues. Like, it's still considered there to be three players. I'm working on it. Plus one again. Ooh. Yay. All right. Progress. Take clue. Okay. We ready? The enemies are gonna move. Oh, I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. One, two, three. One, two. Uh, three from both of us. I think either way they're gonna both gonna move Is here it? and okay. join the acolyte. 
in this location I can't even read because there's way too many enemies on it. East Town, I think? That sounds right. The Acolyte on me is going to hit me. So that puts me at 6 out of 7. I might be right behind Roland here. <laughs> it's okay. It's, cool. it's just me running. Yeah, you guys can collect. always resign. I'm just <laughs> saying. We sh I should have done it earlier. <laughs> okay, and then a resource and a card. Yep, resource. Plus a doom card. And then the top of a new round, a doom on time is running out. We're at 6 on the table. That happened quick. Obscuring fog. Oh boy. Attached to my location, limit one per location. It has plus two shroud. Thank you. False lead, revelation. If you have no clues, false lead gains surge. If you have one or more clues, test four. For each point you fail by, place one of your clues on your location. Four books. So four books. Okay. So you're not investigating. You can't tell. Your magnifying glass I just have to here. test against four yeah. books. You can, um, you could pump it up with resources with the arcane studies if you want. I have five, so six. I think, I think that's a good call. Wow. So that means I have to put two of them on? Yeah. Uh, no, sorry. What was the difficulty? Four? Uh, it says four for each point you okay. fail by. Your, your, your result is considered to be zero. So all of so them. So all of them, please. I say you guys should resign. <laughs> I'm going to keep pump pushing the resign from this. <laughs> uh, this is killing us. Okay. Uh, um, not yet. It's so we made soon. it through that round. If um, you don't defeat one more the doom? Acolyte. Okay. Did you already put the Doom? I put the Doom on already. Okay. I'm going to attack the Acolyte, and then I can start investigating here. And then there's six clues fine there. That's great. And also, if we're going to resign, we should at least do it with a victory point earned. Right? Damn right. straight. We have one. <laughs> From well, Wolfman Jack. I'm out to double. <laughs> out to double our score. I'll pump the fire axe. Puts my total skill at four now that Dark Horse kicks in. That's four versus three again. <coughs> the skull. Skull is minus one right now, so I'm good. All right. Acolyte's dead. Doom is off the table. And I'll start investigating. My investigate, uh, my intellect skill is four versus three thanks to that You fog. have the shroud, uh, yeah. Oh, I'll throw in perception. Another two icons, and if it's successful, I drop her. Zero will succeed. Clears the fog. Gets a clue. Draws a card. Hmm. One more? Or do yeah, you need to one move? one more. Uh, no. no. I mean, I am going to get cornered. <laughs> but... Oh, yeah. But resignation, man, it's a good option. <laughs> no, we get all the damn clues. <laughs> We're gonna get that one more accolade. All right, I'm up by three, so minus three is perfect to get the clue. We would almost be able to buy a clue if I hadn't lost all mine. Don't you have a? Do you have a deduction that lets you get multiple clues at once or anything? Um, hyper awareness, no. I thought you had one that just let you pick up clues. That's in the no, but and that means I can investigate from anywhere else. And in the last round, I had one that let me pick up like an extra one or something like that. All right, so it's my turn. Your turn. Um, the, 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 the bad guy's still two away from me. Yeah. So I'm going to stay and I'm going to investigate all three. Cool. Try and get back all my, all my pieces. What did we decide on that? You're at six versus three. Nice there we one. go. We're good. Plus one? That plus one likes you now, all of a sudden. Yes. I'll draw the auto fails. You can have plus ones. So we're that was okay. Oh, wow. Which reminds me, I've been forgetting about my... Oh, man. Ooh, I've been forgetting about my power. I can discard cards to redraw tokens. Mm. I've been completely forgetting that. Oh, my gosh. That would have yeah. helped so many times. Oh, my God. You are fired. Roland might not, still I have be not alive. played Indian so long. Roland might still Minus be alive. Minus one. I get it. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna be crucified for this. All right, so one more token, and we can we can, we can buy. Be, yeah, we can get it. Coldest. Roland might still be alive. All right, I'm done. I'm not saying I'm bitter. He would. <laughs> he would definitely. I, still I, be I'm, re I'm really upset that I've been forgetting that. I just forgot Wendy had a power apparently. Okay. So the enemies, the two that hunt, will move to Rivertown, and then. 
that's it for the enemies. So yeah, resource and card. I did that. Yeah, man. I can't. I can't believe that. You killed yes. Roland. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I'm supposed to be the one who's, who's who knows this game here. <laughs> um, we need to put one more doom on it. Yeah, new round. Five, six doom on the table. Thank you. Oh, great. I drew a hunting knight gaunt. So it's that hunter that doubles uh, the negative modifier when you try to evade. Oh. Go ahead. Um, obscuring fog. Attached to your location limit one per location. Um, gets to shroud mm -hmm. after lo uh, attached to location is successfully investigated. Discard. Which is fine because I'm going to leave here anyway this turn. All right. All right. I think I should <laughs> go first. So I still can, like, I can get out of this mess that I'm in where I'm cornered and have a night going on me with that card I've been talking about the whole time, Elusive. Right. I still think I should go first. Okay. Shouldn't I come here so I can get this clue and, or just, I can't get it off my own location, but I come here and get this clue and then we have six and we can draw the accolade. Cult you draw cultists. cultists. So, or you yeah, can actually, I, I like that. Then we can plan my turn accordingly if I can get somewhere that... If I can get like to where it appears, right? maybe I can deal with it. Sure. And so this guy can only can't come here. So if I come here anyway, I can. Then you'll be safe. Yeah. I'll be safe. So I'm there, and then investigate. All right. So second action. You're just testing against uh, two shroud here. Easy. With my six. You say he's Minus one. We've auto failed a lot. Yeah, <laughs> we have. I. <laughs> Alright, let's review right. that cultist. People fail easy things I all wonder the time. if Roland wants to read it. <laughs> what do we got? Victoria Devro, humanoid cultist, spawn on the north side. Up here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spend five resources and parlay, and you can add her to the victory display. Yeah. So she. So she sits at north okay, side. She? See, this is what I'm talking about. You I don't have to fight her. You just go there and buy her off to get her information. I can't go directly there, so I can't get to her this round. We just need to make sure that that path is clear. We need to make sure the enemies don't move onto that space, and then you can just go move, move, parlay, right? Right. So, how do we do that? It's going to be chasing me. Well, no, actually, no. If you have clues, you need to get clues. Um, well, it's... Or just as long as I'm not closer to it than her. Right. To what? To the hunters. Well, I'll be right here, and yeah, so if it's I, still two moves If I take me. Elusive up to downtown, then I'll also be two moves away, and we can choose. And then and if, we, and if we also tie on the prey, we can just choose who they follow. It should come down here. And it can come down there? Yeah. Let's choose them. So. Here, I have one more move, by the way. You moved, investigated. It was an action to draw the cultist, so I don't think you do. Oh, it's an action to yeah. draw the cultist? No, yeah, okay. yeah. the action it's, is it's, spending it's the It's printed clues. here on the action. Got it. Arrow. Okay. Jump down. Okay. So, so, what are you going to do in this? I'm going to get my ass to downtown. Here's the bummer thing it's, the card costs two resources, which means I need to take a resource and take an opportunity attack, which. My only choice is to shove Peter Sylvester <laughs> in, <laughs> into its claws. Poor Peter. Hi, Peter. He takes the damage and the horror. He didn't deserve and that. And goes away. He didn't deserve that. But now I can play elusive for two. It's fast, and fast things do not cause an opportunity attack. It says, fast play only during your turn. Disengage from each enemy engaged with you and move to a revealed location with no enemies. So, oh, so I could also move to where Daisy is. But I think I might as well just be close to Northside and maybe we can swarm it and get as, long as close it as can, possible. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take Elusive. Here's the thing about the hospital. Hmm. I can heal three damage there with its ability. Go to the hospital. Go to the it's hospital. the same It's the same thing. We're two moves apart. Yeah, this just has me one closer. I think I, I, think I will go heal. No, okay, fine. I'm going to Elusive to the hospital. I've still only used one action, the resource, since this was fast. So I will heal by th heal for three at the hospital. You need to put elusive in my deck. <laughs> you can't can't have green cards. You have dodge. What more could you want? <laughs> yeah, well. I'll take a resource with my dodge last action. Came All up right. Once. Um, Do I only, I only have so one dodge, you. I think. So we each take a resource a card and. We do. Uh, well, the enemies move. Right. So we're gonna send the hunter and the night gaunt down the south side. Mm-hmm. 
And the Night Gaunt I drew last turn also moves, and it's going to move to River Town from okay. the graveyard. And then one and, more. And then card and resource. Man, I am adding some dodges to this deck. All right, I drew my abandoned and alone treachery. I don't need them. I don't need anyone. I take two direct horror and remove all the cards of the discard pile from the game. Okay. So it's Mythos phase time. It mm -hmm. is. That is six. Where, oh, man? We're at seven. Is there any way that we can get get this parlay and resign? I'm coming here. So the question is, can we also resign? Can you resign in the same three moves? No, it's an action to resign. So that's what I'm saying. So, so wait, wait, no, wait, one, one no. two, no. I would. We'll figure it out. I guess we'll draw these cards and then talk about it. I think. Okay, I drew Hunting Shadow. I must either choose a clue, spend a clue or take two damage. I can only take two damage, which makes me glad I healed at the hospital. There you go. Okay. okay. Um, Acolyte. Um, empty location. Downtown? Is that the only empty location left? Uh, the university, or but don't put it in your way, or the graveyard. Graveyard. Sure. Um, so now, this is the last round of the game unless we kill both of these. Two. So it seems like we should just treat this as if it's the last round of the game. So we both need to... So we need to see if there's a way to complete this cultist, and if not... I can get her in, in three moves. Right. But then I can't resign. Do and both of you need to... Does everyone... Like, does each individual person need to resign for yes. it to resign? If anyone is... If the game is still go, So the game ends when everyone resigns, but if the game... Go, if the game keeps going until the agenda runs out, then we suffer the effects of that. Hmm. It doesn't really matter how many people resign if it's not everyone. So, there are pros and cons to both, honestly, mm -hmm. too, and I know them, but I'm not going to detail them for you right now. <laughs> what do you think? Should we stretch past midnight and interrogate one more cultist, or get, get on with our investigation before the clock chimes? Oh, I'm not worried about the time. Okay. Um, I just don't want... Is there any way... That no, there's no way you can get to one of those places. No, yeah. you know what I was talking about the time. I meant like the story of the. I did. Okay. <laughs> I did. I'm like not it's all. It's not quite midnight. <laughs> I mean, I think you could get here, but. But these can't kill both of them. Yeah, I could kill. Well, I could kill one of them, but it would mean moving through this night gaunt, which would be a problem also. So I think we just have to assume it's the last round of the game. What, what, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Would you Don't like, leave would it you, up to me. Would you, would you like us to resign, or should we stick around and interrogate Victoria? Well, in the scheme of the game, you said it's worse to be past midnight. I said it's, it's better to resign than be past midnight. It's, it, there are pros and cons to getting one more cultist versus to staying past midnight. I, I don't think that one is decidedly better than the other. We're going to get punished for the one we don't do. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, what is it? How much do I need to buy her? Five resources? Five resources. You've got them. And I've got it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't carry over, so... My vote has always been resign. So, but I'm a resign proponent for I will, quite a while I will now. leave myself out of that uh, equation. I want the second cultist. I also want the second cultist. <laughs> Alright. Again, I'm not saying it's better. No, I'm we're going to do it. We're I gonna agree. Do it. We're going after, after all this. After all this, we're going to go up we're there. Gonna I'm going to get the bitch. And no, nothing to read. One, two, three. Did you read her flavor three, text? Oh, no, you four, know what? I'm sorry. Roland did not. He's a bad card reader. Are you talking about yourself in the third person? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> Roland's not reading cards. Scott is reading cards. Oliver Thomas, the proprietor of the Curiosité Shop, Shopé. <laughs> has informed you that a new client is taking keen interest in a mysterious mask. She's ours now. She's ours. Okay, we've interrogated her. Put her in the display. And now I can't really think of anything productive to do on my turn. I'll probably just resign. <laughs> just leave you out there at midnight. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, I will resign. Well, as the All last, right, I'm reading it. As the last person left. Yes, you should. This is my fate. All I'm right, time it. has run short. <sighs> Twelve bells ring out across the town. Here. It is midnight. There is no time left to investigate the city. You must act based on the information you've collected from the cultists you found. Proceed to R2. So it's R2. About, about the same, so it's actually better for us to get a cultist. Would you hand me the... Uh, we haven't read R2 yet. We don't or or played the third scenario yet. 
Dum, dum, dum. Twelve bells ring out, signal, signaling midnight. You're out of time. The cult's ritual will begin shortly. You've managed to obtain some useful information about the cult and its plans. You can only hope it's enough. So, the game is over. Here's what we do. In your campaign log, under quote-unquote cultists we interrogated, record the names of each cultist in the victory display. So we're going to record in our campaign log specifically who we interrogated, and the game will care about that. Victoria Devereaux and Wolfman Drew. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, in your campaign log, record that it is past midnight. Okay. <laughs> If the ghoul priest is still or is in the victory display, that didn't matter. It wasn't alive for this one. And each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display, which means we've earned another two. Okay. We got two cultists worth one each, and we did not clear any locations worth victory points. I don't think. No, we didn't clear. Okay, so we've got two more to spend before we take on the final scenario of the campaign, entitled "The Devourer Below." <laughs> okay. Dun, we will dun, dun. get to that next. That's going to do it for right now. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for the game. And until next time, be optimal. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Pause. All right. Welcome to Arkham Horror, people. <laughs>